What's going on guys? I'm Gast and with me is Arch and today we're going to show you a quick demo of a tool that um, Brender has created. It is called the Repointer, the FEGBA Table Repointer by Brendor. I'm just going to close this so we can start anew. Arch, what exactly is a table? Okay, so a table is a uh, block of data. It's a block of bytes. So a byte is an individual. Um, you open a hex editor and you see individual bytes listed. Um, so a table is a block of bytes that are interpreted in a certain way by the assembly code. So you have, for example, when you open the nightmare module for the character data editor, um, that is a table. And so you're editing the table of character data. So when you are in Nightmare, you are editing the basic table that's in the default game. But if you want to repoint the table to add more entries, um, you can do that with this tool. So some, so one of the, uh, the more repointed tables, I guess, would be the item table. Let's, uh, let's repoint the item table. Yeah, that's a good one because... Um, you can add a lot more, a lot more weapons with that. I mean, I, for the longest time in Living Nights, I resisted repointing that, and I just kind of replaced over everything. <laughs> and then I added shops, and it's like, oh shit, I need all that original stuff back. Yeah, yeah. People, um, there's lots of like unused weapons that people tend to write over to create their mm -hmm. own weapons and stuff, but yeah. um. There comes a point where you kind of just like overload on the stuff you have and you can't really replace any more shit so you have to like repoint this yeah. whole section of of data that kind of holds all the item information and essentially bring it somewhere else that has free space like after that set of data so if you overwrite it then you're not overwriting something right next to the original item table where you can fuck up the game yeah. So basically, when you repoint, um, you take a block of data and then you bring it over to a free spot where there's stuff under it that's just free that you are at liberty to uh, put in more information, essentially. So mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to use this table. And it's actually really awesome because manually repointing uh, tables and stuff doesn't really take a long time, but it's really tedious. And it, mm -hmm. like... You have to you know, do you math. You have to do your own little calculations with uh, with the math and everything to calculate how long the table's going to be. Yeah, and nobody and you has to time make sure for you're that. grabbing the exact right amount of information, unless you want to like clip the last couple entries off. Yeah, uh, it's kind you know, of so it, it can be a hassle. Yeah, especially for the first time. But with a repointing program, it takes literally five seconds and that's great because it saves you a lot of time and it just it, it it when you have programs that do the work for you it's like you there's less times where you just are really worried about messing up your own shit so yeah. um the first thing you need to do when you download when you get when you download the repointer is you have to download python uh 2.7 you have to have that installed because uh brender's program works off python um, so it doesn't take long at all. You just download it. You just follow. You can just follow the README because all the instructions are right here. So let's open up the repointing program. And as you can see, there is the ROM, the Nightmare module, and the offset. And then there's the option to make a backup and to update the Nightmare module. So, so um, as you can see, these are the three sort of numbers that are central to understanding and to repointing stuff manually. So this offset points to where the item table is originally. And this is um, the amount of entries, right? I think that's it. Yeah, this is the amount of, yeah. I think that's it, yeah. This uh, is the entry. amount of... And that's the size of each entry underneath. Yeah. So when you manually repoint it, you never change this. Um, but you, you when you repoint, you want to change this to when you... So like if this is at 159 and you repoint it to somewhere else and you want to change that number to like 200 just to give yourself uh, 41 extra item slots. So um, with that said, let's uh, keep this in mind and then we'll go to our ROM. Don't we repoint our test yet? 
So I tried to I tried to be pointing with class and it works, so I'm just gonna use this one again. And we go to our nightmare module, which is in our event. Nope, that's not it. Um, where are you? Here. Thing. And then we go to our modules. Go to item. And then we go to our. We pick an. We just pick a random offset. So I'm gonna pick D zero 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 zero. Good choice. Yeah. Um, so in case you guys don't know, the there's free space, like unused space in the ROM from D0000 to E0000. So you kind of have free reign to just add stuff in as much as you want in that space. There's some extra information uh, in the readme about this stuff, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about that. And you, if you want to make a backup, you make a backup. And if you want to update the Nightmare module when done, you do. So I hit process. And it asks to save for your backup, so I'm just going to put it on the desktop for ease. I'm just called backup. That's not how you spell backup, but whatever. And then you wait, and then it will mo update. The module will update successfully. And then it's going to say the table we pointed from here, right, to the offset. And then you open it up in the hex editor. Yeah, let's do that first. Um, yeah, so let's see if it worked. We go to open, and we go to our test ROM, and then we hit G, D0000, and press it, actually. There we go. Sure. Yep, that's it. Because it should, yeah, because you see, like, the block of, like, Fs and zeros, and then it's, like, form yeah. data. So it repointed. Yeah. So it repointed fine. And now let's check our nightmare module to see if the uh, nightmare module updated. Um, we go to, I forget, it was this. Nope, that wasn't it. it was, oh, it updates the module too? It should. Huh. Yeah, see, look, it updates the module automatically. Wow. So now you have an updated module, updated entry list, and the same thing so now if and to and to test if this stuff works you just open up your rom in like vba and see if it crashes because if it crashes then something goofed mm. and if it runs smoothly then you just have a bunch of more entries in your item editor which is great uh so i'm just waiting to open go to the tests and we are live and then don't for now let's see if let's see if we crash the game here i am hoping we don't <laughs> and don't forget too that the space where the table used to be is now usable space as well um so i've actually gone back and like you know when i repoint my item table and whatnot use that space for assembly that i put into the game so so uh, it's pretty convenient both ways, actually, because you're freeing up space at the same time that you're adding more. Exactly. So as you can see, uh, we are functioning perfectly, and we have a repointed item table, and I think I also repointed my class table, and that works fine. So this is a repointing program that is just it saves you so much time, and if you are sort of t if you're sort of like teetering on the uh -huh. um, the big, like the the bigger levels of your of your hack, then you will want to repoint your stuff. 